Okay, for today's lesson, we're gonna have a go at drawing a snake, like a big python or something. So I'm gonna do like a python wrapped around a tree. So to start with, we just roughly, very, very lightly, let's just draw in um, the tree, just some straight lines down here. That doesn't have to be perfect because it's a tree and a tree's not perfectly straight anyhow. So as long as it's roughly straight, something to give this snake something to wrap around. Okay, now I'm just going to start with the head. Um, so just again, like always, I always just start with a, a bit of a sketch of uh, how the head might sort of go. Uh, something. Just start with a bit of an oval shape. Something like this. And uh, maybe just a bit of um, a curve that comes out just because it's going to wrap around the tree like this. And then we'll need another curve that comes around just so that the snake can start to wrap. Okay, now let's just get the um, shape of this. So just thinking about, this is almost a little bit like sort of a portrait. So just bring this out. We're gonna bring the sides, just bring uh, a line out. Maybe a line that comes under. We just wanna get the shape of this snake's face. So just some lines, but just do it lightly. We might change things as we go. Just work out where an eye might go. Somewhere like this. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, we'll just get a bit of a shape of the head. All right, we'll come back to all these things in a moment and put in all the details and things like that. All right, but we'll need to just add in, so imagining the snake's coming around, um, it might come sort around the tree, so maybe come down. You can just kind of make this up, really. I'm just gonna make this up a little bit, but um, you can come around the tree. Just making sure that we sort of keep that same thickness of the snake. We don't want it to go really skinny and and really wide, that wouldn't sort of make sense, would it? Okay, maybe the snake will come, uh, I don't know, maybe it'll come across like this. Something like this. Okay. okay, now remembering there's lots of lines here I won't need. I might even just get rid of those now. Just because I don't need them. I might just confuse things. I won't need that. I won't need that or that. Anywhere there's a line sort of on its body now, we'll get rid of it. But we'll keep the lines these ones but we still want to keep that tree. All right now I'm just going to now we can have some really fun with the shading part of it I guess because uh, we just want to get our shape right sorry and then let's have some fun with the shading so let's just get our, um, our lines really definite. Now what I'm going to do here is almost treat this almost like a um, like a cylinder I guess um, so I'm just going to, to shade it through but I'll just get this head right first I just want to this um, shading right so I'm going to shade this in a moment and just get these lines in and I'll come back to all that okay so I just want to get some some shading in so I'm just going to fill this in very lightly just with some gray I'm just really wanting to just get some some pencil on there 
to give me something to blend and shade with. So I'm just going to shade the whole lot. Okay, that was very, very light because I now want to be able to just smudge this in with my Now what I want to do is just, just work on darkening up some areas, maybe darkening the front a little bit. Darken these areas. Just blend it in. Get that light to dark effect. Maybe just a bit darker along the head here. Don't worry about going over these lines too, too much. We can fix all that up in a minute. Okay, now just around here. Just going to darken this now i'm going to treat this almost like a curving cylinder so i just want it a little bit darker around the sides like this and then just blend it in I'm trying to get it gradually dark to light and i'll just darken up along this edge and I'm, again just doing this lightly i just want to build it up gradually not press really hard. I never really press too hard unless I'm sort of doing edges or things like that. Okay, now we want to get this effect that it's crossing over a little bit, so we'll just darken in this little corner here now. Like this. Okay, now I want to get a little bit of a crossing, a cross effect, so I'm just going to um, just make sure my pencil is really nice and sharp for this. I'm just sort of flicking that with my pencil. Just trying to get that pattern going the same sort of way. And then maybe this way. Just to get the effect of some scales. use my rubber because I want this to be kind of have a shiny surface so I'm just going to use my rubber and just run it down the back of the snake just to give a shiny effect. I might even just put a few little crosses. A little bit of shininess. We just neaten up our edges, make it really nice and clean around the edge. Okay. Alright, we might come back to that head in a moment, but I'll just finish off his. Maybe just finish off his mouth. Actually, I'll just neaten that up, otherwise, it will bother me. I like it to be very neat and tidy around the edges. Oops, ah, dirty rubber. It's good to have a good clean rubber, not a dirty one like mine. Okay. Now, let's finish off the rest of the snake. So now I'm just going to shade it. So I just want to um, think about these light and dark areas. So this area here, because it's under his head, would probably be darker in the shadow. So, but I'm just going to grey this in first. Again, very lightly. I just want this to be grey. So I'm just really, really lightly shading this in. This is super light. I'm just wanting to get some pencil on the page. So now I can smudge that in really easy. If you try and smudge this and you can still see all the lines, then you've pressed too hard. 
that you have to really lighten this shading up. Okay, that will just get me a bit of grey to start with. And now I'm just going to um, put some darker area in. So let's darken this up. bit of shadow under here. Bit of shadow under here. This maybe. Maybe a bit of shadow down the side. And again I'm just doing this lightly, just build it up. Put a shadow in here because I want it to look do you see? Okay, give it a bit of shininess. shininess it's running through the middle there and a little bit more just flicking it through with a sharp pencil Come back to all this if we need to fix things. Just keep sharpening up your edges and neatening it up as we go. Keep tidying up, tidying up the edge. All right, let's do this next bit. darken up our edges. Well actually first I'm just going to shade this all in grey because I want that that sort of grey start. So now there's just a bit of a process to this. Just fill it fill your outlines in, fill it in grey, do your dark areas, do your light areas and put all your little lines and things in. You just need to do that all the way down now. Yeah, this is a big bit this might take a little time. Darken this up. I'm going to make it darker down the side here. Darker along the bottom. Just building it up gradually. So it'll be in a little bit of shadow. Just gonna blend it in a bit. Don't be afraid to get your fingers a bit dirty. You can always wash them afterwards. So 
and a pencil. Okay, maybe a little bit of shadow in here, just on the insides, on those edges. Okay, now I want to get that, that highlight again. So just follow it around where you want it to be sort of shiny. Okay, something like that. And then of course, a sharp pencil. We'll add some of those, those lines in again. Okay, just to get those scaly effects. Okay, and finally we'll do the little bit down here. Actually, before I do, I'll just again just tidy up my edges. I've gone over the lines a little bit here and there. Again, I'm just going to treat this just like it's a like it's a cylinder. I want it to just be, appear to be a like a curved shape. So, again, just darkening. Well, actually, I'll fill it all in grey first. Almost forgot. Just really lightly because I just want enough to be able to smudge it. Just to get that grey. Okay. Now I'm just going to darken along the bottom. Again, just slightly, just enough to be able to smudge it, just to darken it up a bit. You can always add a little bit more like this, just go the other way very lightly, just to darken it up. Okay, we're not sort of fully colouring it in like a picture, we're just putting a little bit more lead on there. Okay, and again, I'll just run. Um, just to make it look a bit shiny. Okay, add those lines. Flicking my pencil through, really sharp pencil here. Just flick it through, tidy up your edges. Neaten it all up. And we'll do the last little bit of tail at the bottom, just the same. Okay, fill it in grey. Smudge it in, get that grey. 
nice. And then again, we just want to darken up our edges, darken up the bottom. Maybe darken in these parts, a little dark around the top bit there. Just blend that in a little bit. Okay, and again, just use my rubber to get that shininess. These are just all cool little tricks to, to learn. And then again, I just, those little thick lines just to get the pattern of the snake. Really sharp pencil. Okay, that's a pretty cool looking snake. All right, now I just want to, um, uh, again, just tidying up my edges, as always. I say that a lot. And I just want to fix up this tree now to actually make it look a bit more like a tree, so. Um, just to do the tree. Oops, that doesn't match. Um, I just want to, um, when I draw this, I'm going to keep the lines going up and down to give the, I don't want to draw this way, so I'm just going to keep it going up and down. Maybe a little bit darker to one side, again, because it's like a big cylinder. Um, I'm not going to blend this so much. Well, maybe I could, let's have a look and see what that looks like. But I'm just going to keep those sort of lines there just to give the idea of sort of bark. There we go, something like that. A little bit darker in there. A little bit darker in there. And remember, now this had cast a little bit of a shadow because it's on the tree, so we'll put a little bit of just a shadow under there. I'll be here too. and I reckon this is a pretty cool looking snake. Um, just going to give a few little highlights here and there. Just to lighten up some areas. And you can just sort of play around with it now and just tidy it up. Tidy up all those dirty marks. Dirty marks all over my hands. That's coming onto my page. But, you know, you could put leaves in the background and vines and trees and, and you can do anything here. This is where you can let your imagination go. Okay, and I'm just going to um, just keep playing around, just sharpen up those edges a little bit. Just look for ways of improving it. Just always keep looking, thinking, all right, how could I make that look a little bit better? Hmm, does that look, maybe if I just sharpen up this line here, maybe this line here just needs an extra little... Edge. So we're just always looking of, right, what could happen next? What could we do? And, uh, always trying to improve our drawing. Okay, now I could probably keep going with this, but I'm going to stop there. I think you get the point, and I think that looks like a pretty cool snake. Um, that would be a great one for you to have a go at at home. So good luck with it. Give it a go. Have fun. Bye.